I'm Satan here. Today, we are doing the two-step work problems diagnosis test. So there are two sessions, A, concept, B, thinking skill. So with that, let's begin. Question one, there are 45 boys and 52 girls in a hall. There are nine more adults than children. How many adults are there in the hall? So first, let's underline the keywords. 45 boys and 52 girls. So let's draw for the children. A part hole. There are 45 boys. 52 girls. So these are the children, which we don't know. Next, there are nine more adults than children. So adult is longer. There are more. Nine more. So first that find how many children. Simply take 45 plus 52. That is 97. So there are 97 children. Next, I take 97 plus nine. So I get 106. There are 106 adults. Let's come to question two. Sharon is 12 years older than Benny, and Benny is eight years younger than Sam. How much longer, how much younger is Sam than Sharon? So let's underline the keyword. 12 years older. So when you draw Sam, I draw Sharon. So be longer than Benny by 12. Next, Benny is eight years younger than Sam. So Benny is younger, then Sam will be older by eight. So now, how much younger is Sam than Sharon? So we compare with Sharon and Sam. So we take 12 minus eight and we can find Almost younger. Four. So once your model draw properly, you can see that Sam is four years younger than Sharon. Question three. Billy has 35 fewer true sticker than Alex. X has seven fewer sticker than Steven. 
So Steven has 138 sticker. How much sticker does Billy have? So Lily has 35 fewer sticker than Alex. So you draw the model for Lily softer than Alex by 35. Next, Alex has several fewer sticker than Steven. I mean, Steven is longer than Alex by seven. Then you tell that Steven is more than 38. So here, so here is more than 38. And they ask you, how many sticker does Billy have? First, you find Alex by taking 138 minus 7. So you get 131. So Alex has 131 sticker. Next, after so you find Alex is 131. The minus 35 to 5 mil. Billy has 96 sticker. So answer is 96. Next one for Doreen had some marbles. She gave nine marbles to Matthew and bought another seven more marbles. Now she has a total 182 marbles. How many marbles did Doreen have at first? So for this question, it's working backwards. So what happened is that she has some marble, which you don't know. So she gave nine. Minus 9. She bought 7 plus 7. They become 182. So we work backwards. 182 instead of plus, you minus 7. Instead of minus, you plus 9. So answer is 184 marbles. Question five. Jacqueline bought 10 trays of eight. So there were six eights in each tray. She used nine of the eight. How many eights has she left? So let's underline the keywords. 10 trays of eight. Followed by six eight in each tray. So you have one tray, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there are six. 
So first you have to find how many are there. So, so that is 6 times 10 equals 60. Now she use 9. So here is 60. She use 9. How many? Okay. Okay, 60 minus 9 equals 51. So she had 51 eggs left. Now we come to question six. That's the session B and you skill. They say, Zachary is 12 years old. His father is 7, 37 years old. How old will Zachary be when his father is 60 years old? So, Zachary is 12 years old. Let's put Zachary. 12. Zachary is 37. So, that's father. 37. Next. His father now becomes 60 years old. So add the number of years. So as the father add number of years, that will add the number of years. And what happens is that now he's 60 years old. So how old will Zaki be by then? So there are two ways to do it. One way is to find the father from 37 go to 60 at how many years. After you know at how many years it add to Zachary. So first method. 60 minus 37, 23. So it's 23 years later. So you add the 23 to Jackie, so that is 35. So Jackie is 35 years old. Second method is to find out the father is how many years older than Jackie. So 37 minus 12. 25. So you know that the father is always 25 years older. So Jackie is 20, father is 25 years older. When his father is 60, also same as 25 years older. So 60 minus 25 equals 35. So Jackie is 35 years old. So there are two methods to solving of this style question. Question seven. Susan made 18 cupcakes on Monday. She made six more cupcakes on Monday day on Tuesday. So on Tuesday, she packed the cupcake equally into three containers. How many cupcakes are there in each container? So let's start with this. 18 cupcake on Monday. So Monday, I think, makes six more cupcake on Monday than on Tuesday. So Tuesday, six more. Next, she put the cupcake equally in the string container. So after you know why this, we take the Tuesday, find those three. Uh, how much one? So let's find the Tuesday first. 15 plus 6 
equal to 24. So say so make 24 cupcakes. Uh oh, wait a minute. Monday is more, so there is less. And here is divided by three. So, so we're eighteen minus six. So, so we talk this on so state. So, twelve divided by three. So equal four. So there are four cupcakes in each container. So we we'll come to the end of the lesson. Do remember to always practice on our e-learning website. That is W www.studysingaporemath.com Thank you and see you on the next lesson. Goodbye.